Last night, people around the world were staring at the sky for the closest possible lunar approach to Earth for the first time since 1982. Well, if you missed it, like we did here, don't worry, because there's going to be another one in 2018. I'm Sasha Wood. And I'm Michael McCrudden, talking to you about the moon getting its period. Michael! Well, that, that's what causes this, right? You're going to get fired, you know that, right? Likely here on IO. If you guys get a chance to see this blood moon, who are you looking at it with? Let me know the details in the comments down below. This blood moon was in fact unique as it was also a super moon. Oh, while the next eclipse may be in 2018, the next combination of super moon and blood moon won't be until 2033. When a full moon or a new moon makes its closest approach to Earth, that's when you get a super moon. Although still about 220,000 miles away, this full moon will look bigger and brighter than usual. NASA scientist Noah Petro, head of lunar reconnaissance, was very excited for this event because he was hoping that it would reignite interest in the moon. He claims that the difference between viewing a regular moon and a supermoon is like that of a man to Clark Kent or Superman. Now I kind of feel bad for this scientist because for the hour this whole eclipse was happening, well, it was really cloudy, especially in our hemisphere. On top of that, NASA, they made that big announcement today about finding water on Mars. So, uh, well, I guess you could say that that Mars announcement eclipsed the blood moon. <laughs> you did it. Oh, it's so bad. You did. <laughs> it's so bad. Well, a blood moon is when the Earth eclipses a full moon, fully casting its shadow upon it. This can also cause the moon to appear red. So why last night was significant was because not only were you seeing a blood moon, but you were seeing it as close as possible thanks to the fact that it was also a super moon. So this is why scientists and space enthusiasts found this significant, but others in society found it significant for a different reason. Now throughout history, people have thought that a blood moon meant that the end of the world was coming. There was references made in the Bible, it also happened around the same time as these Jewish holidays, but it's happened a few times, and we're all still here, so I think we're good. Unless it's a foreshadowing of when I'm about to lose my job. I don't even know what to say to that. Let's just hope I'm here tomorrow. You will be. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm Sasha Wood. And I'm a nervous, to be unemployed Michael McCrudden. <laughs> and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos with all of us, including Michael. Please, Sasha, <laughs> don't let it happen. Catch you guys next time.